Argentina, anywhere in South America. I mm -hmm. saw a bunch of Brazilian Argentinian teams in there as well. You can also compete. Obviously, don't forget the Canadians. We had a couple of Canadians in there. I think we got Canadians in tonight as well in this match. Uh, and obviously, that's the American side in Europe. Everybody's European team sign up over there. Once you've chosen your side, got to stick to it, though. Yeah, so let's drop in a game as we do kick off Luminosity against Nubris on Watchpoint Gibraltar. So, does Gibraltar need a watch point? I mean, what, at what stage does Gibraltar need a watch point? I don't know. I mean, Gibraltar seems such a, a, a friendly, happy place. Do you think it's the monkeys in Gibraltar that have gone wild? I think that's what it is. I think do, it's the girls you, that maybe have. Do you even know have. about the monkeys in Gibraltar? Do you even know where Gibraltar is? Yep. I do. Where is it? Uh, well, we, I mean, we need to talk about the compositions and the players, <laughs> actually, most importantly here. <laughs> um, so, for the side of Lumina Lumina Luminosity, Luminosity Gaming, as you guys have known them, but the newest edition, we've got Milo, Pooks, Enigma, Seagull, Indust filling in. Uh, not, he's not a full-time player for them just yet, but this is his tryouts, and what a tryout it is, and gods to run at the comp. So, technically, there's two English maps in the map pool, King's Row and Gibraltar. Gibraltar's part of England to the point they actually even voted in the Brexit. 96% okay. voted to stay in, thank, surprisingly. I, thank you for telling me that. Um, but in the meantime, let's introduce Nubris, which is where I was trying to go with it. Cool Matt 69, Stoop, IDDQD, Vaudeville, Custa, and Buds. And IDDQD can be plain sniper. And unfortunately for him, missed that first shot. But he won't miss much more than that. Well, we'll see. You've, you've kind of given the commentator's curse now, I feel. But he's going to try and push on through. Standard defensive setups, as you're saying. You can see Siegel. And uh, holding the high ground, spin across the seagull, see where he is. I know you guys love to keep your eyes on him, but there's plenty of great players in this matchup for sure. They're going to catch straight in, though. Vonathil will get taken down. That's the Lucio drop. Enigma managed to get the hook on Cool Matt as well, so the hog went down, and the attack will back itself up. IDDQD continuing to try and clatch in there, getting themselves some shots, but instantly gets a rocket to the face from Seagull. Yeah, not really have much luck so far for him. Mm. Honestly, credit to Luminosity for being able to dodge away from most of his shots and make going to fight. Look at that crouching and then moving side to side. I think QD can just not hit that God's against uh, Milo. Or I think it was God's. Yeah, that was, was Milo. Yeah. Or was, was it God's? Milo's up on high? Yeah, yeah it's Milo's Milo. up on high. But you can't dodge away from a hook side. So cool Matt will take him down. The revive going to be used. Seagull dies for Fortune a little bit after. And it looks like, looks like it's uh, going pretty good here for Numerous. Careful, Indus. They're pushing around there. Yeah, they are going to try and get this first point. It's still being contested, though. Gods and Enigma picking themselves up two kills. There's going to be another one. That will be Stoop going down. The Lucio should get dropped here. Milo, is he going to hold on to that ulti? No, Tactical Visor will get popped. Just going to confirm that they can keep this point cleared. Cool Matt will get dropped eventually. And it is just going to be a single rocket to Vonathil around the corner to secure it. So, 3 meters 62. They almost got there, but not quite. Yeah, extremely close. I'm surprised they allowed the uh, actual payload to move that quickly or that far before they did contest it. But IDQD going to be sticking with the Widowmaker. And what was so effective about that last attack was the fact he had his infra side up and gave him a lot of quick shots. So he's not going to have it this time. He has to be a little bit more careful. He's going to switch. And yeah, it looks like he doesn't want to switch away from this one. Double hog now, actually, for Luminosity. So they switched off the Pharah to Siegel. Not playing the Roadhog. So interesting, a little bit of a change for them. They still have the double soldier. They're only running one support out of Indus, who has to be so careful. Oh god, they're gonna chain hook him in. Uh, Indus has to be so careful, but actually, to not get picked off, to be able to pull off a successful res. They actually go swinging around the top side here, trying to catch him out. Well, Siegel on the flank. Trying to see if it works out. Takes a hell of a lot of damage. That's going to be IDDQD because the problem is they're going up against that double Reaper setup. So IDDQD switching across to that. Let's have a quick peek at him. They have the high ground covered off now. He's going to drop down behind that shield. It's working well. The Winston of Pooks should get focused on, but IDDQD will get dropped down. Kulmat still trying to chase on. Gets Gods down. Now Gods had his ulti tactical visor was used, and Kulmat picks himself up a second and a third. And finally, is he going to get dealt with? No. He gets another one. Indus goes down. Cool Matt, there's a wrecking ball right now, just piling on through Luminosity Gaming. But are they going to capture out that point? It's got two meters to go there. No, force back. Finally, another ulti comes out. Is anyone going to kill him? Yeah, but Pooks is actually contesting this as long as he possibly can. The payload will cross the checkpoint. And Nubris finally able to get some momentum going. But it's a good hold by Luminosity. That was a lot of time they took away for Nubris. And they'll be taking away God's life. Nope. It's actually, we'll just get this one. Cool Matt not able to chase him down. So. So far, Cool Man and IDQD together have been pairing extremely well. And Bud's going to be playing this, the, uh, I was going to say playing the Seagull, but he's playing the Pharah against Seagull, which is going to be a tough ask. Oh no, but Indus got down. IDQD got the flank. 
This is actually really bad for them. Yeah, managed to pick him off around the side there, so that old still at 27%. That's not going to be charging any time soon. The Reaper trying to make the flanking move. They still hold this shuttle, but you can see the payload below. It's starting to work its way through. Butts tries to get the high ground, and uh, Custer's got to be careful. He doesn't get caught mid-air there by Siegel, but doesn't manage to land the shot. Stoop's still taking a lot of damage from up on high. Not a great deal of healing going down them all either because they're trying to stick to Buds. Buds will get dropped, but that payload, look at it. While that's all been happening, they've been fighting for that high ground. They've just snuck it through beneath. It's going to stop here. I don't think it'll get any further because Kusta, well, let's have a look at his position because he's going to be crucial in this and he's not there. He's not with them. Uh, he died earlier on. Yep. Uh, I think he got cut out by Siegel, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and Luminosity, they will be able to hold on to the payload, but again, like you said, it got extremely close to finishing. They got it through the under part of the hangar. They got it towards the end, but it's still going to be extremely hard to push it even further than this. And Buds, that's what's going to happen. That's Siegel hitting a direct rocket onto him and locking down this control. Yeah, so they're forced back. So while they did manage to get it very close to the checkpoint, they have lost control of the shuttle bait. And now, of course, there is only four points that can enter into this zone, and this is where it's such a strong choke point. Let's see if it works out. You get the flank around the side. Buds has decided to switch off and go on towards the Widowmaker, but as you see, Milo's got his shield up there, so that's not going to work out. They do manage to blast them around. Siegel, though, gets his ulti down, gets himself four kills, and that attack was stopped before he even started. It's two minutes and 45 seconds left to go on the clock for Nubris. Stoop will have his Earth Shatter ID. Cutie has that Death Blossom. And Seagull's got to hope that Stoop, or not, sorry, not Stoop, that uh, Milo actually gets that shield up on top of that shuttle as quick as he can, because that Widowmaker was pressuring Seagull a little bit, forcing him to stick into a certain position, and they're pushing straight into the pale. They want to fight right away, and they want to force Luminosity to drop. But God's on his Widowmaker himself. We saw him have some ridiculous plays on Hanzo yesterday. Going to be doing some more work on Widow this time. Yeah, God's doing some fantastic stuff there. Catching Buds, catching Stoop. Clearing them out of the back, doesn't manage to get Vonathil, going to drop down point blank and end up things with the right click. So easy stuff. Oh, the right click, the left click even. The non-scoped is what I meant. You all know what I meant. Back on towards the payload. It is, you know, they tried to push through twice, they tried to go fast now. They basically run underneath that shuttle. It's kind of failed both times. They're going to have to deal with it. I mean, that, that's how they're trying to deal with it. They're trying to ignore the fact that the payload... Now, okay, now they've switched to the Winsters and the Genji. Now they've said, okay, we need to take control of the shuttle. And they have done that. They've been able to actually push them off the shuttle. Um, and you have to hope IDQD can deal with Seagull, but Seagull shoots him out of the sky. Now Stoop is looking for Indus. He's looking for that Mercy to take him down, but Mercy's just dodging left and right. Enigma's able to help save him here. The payload is still being contested, and Numerous are just dying one by one, but there's the revive coming back in. Seagull still has Barrage. Soundbear even going to be used, and Seagull's a little bit preoccupied with, preoccupied with Buds before he takes him down to be able to use the Barrage. Well, Indus was finally taken down, but they focus so much on just getting that Mercy down that everybody pretty much died straight away. So the damage had free reign in the form of God Seagull, just wrecking them at the moment. One minute on the clock is all they have left. Nubris were very quick to get the first oh, checkpoint, and they're going to try, yeah, very much the same attack. And the shields are so so strong, are so strong, so hard to deal with as a fair too. But they've been able to hold on to it actually with Milo sticking towards the front. They're able to stick up there for a little bit of a little bit of extra time. But Buds has barrage. Again, they're looking for Indus, so charging straight for him, and Indus needs to escape, but he doesn't. Stoop takes him down, and now it's all on Siegel here on the high ground to do some work. Well, he's been picked off. Buds gets him down. That resurrect. Is it going to come through? No, because Indus was picked off early. Gods has his ult available. He's going to try and pop it, but uh, uh, did he get knocked he, yeah, away? He, got he must have got away. pooped away. Yeah. So only 20 seconds left. Indus, he has a chance to res one, maybe two, and he won't even have the opportunity. He's going to be dropped before that, and they will take the checkpoint. Seagull, now a little overextended because of that, and they'll have to back away to defend that last point. Yeah, goes down. So, two minutes is all they have. That's a short period of time to get around here, and they're going to have to try and snowball it as quick as they can. They've got two on the payload. They're trying to get a little peek around the corner, but they've already backed away. So Seagull just coming from the spawn point. Enigma does have that Graviton Surge, and he's going to have it paired with Seagull's Barrage as well, because that's going to be available in just a couple of seconds. And we'll see whether that's going to be crucial in the defenses here, because they're only really going to get two successful attacks. Yeah, that's very true. And we'll see how successful they're going to be. He's just waiting for the, gra the shield to go down for the Graviton Surge, or they might not even need it at this rate because they're spreading out so far away from each other. But that Graviton Surge is going to be good. The Barrage is going to follow up. And say goodnight, Nubris. They're going to get wiped out here by Siegel and, Crow and Co. 
Yeah, we knew that was coming. It was it was very easy to read. I think they knew it was coming as well. Unfortunately, Custer got hooked up in that, so wasn't able to join it. Was IDDQ do you think, considering switching out there? Is it 94%? Well, he went back out to heal originally. Just, yeah, just topping off. And it's not a big deal because oh, Kumat Custer... switched. Kumat switched over to the Hog. Mm. Let's see. Looking to hook Seagull out of the sky. I don't have anyone to really get bridge control. It's pretty much all an ID to QD with that Dragon Blade. You can see him just spamming away at that shield, trying to take that down. Milo has fallen. Tactical Visor can be coming through. Dragon Blade should be coming any second now once the Tactical Visor does disappear. And ID QD has just stayed alive for the most part. Well, that's going to be Seagull getting picked off. Are they going to be able to get on towards Indus? No, not before he gets his ulti off, that's for sure. Now they managed to force them back. Gods gets himself the kill on ID QD. And that attack has been stopped dead. Oh, the hook! Kumat! Gets onto Seagull. I think he blew himself up with the rocket there in the end. Milo just about trying to swat out that Buds who's just got his ulti off. Didn't get anything with it. Put a lot of damage down. But as you can see, the payload is moving, but it's not going any further anymore. Milo should get taken down eventually here. And now they're continuing. Have they got enough to get in there? Here comes the Divas. And the Divas are going to stall for quite a bit of time. Pooks is looking for that kill on the Custer so they won't have a revive. IDQ switch over to Widowmaker, realizing he's not going to be harassed at all while his teammates is pushing that payload up. But he needs to hit these shots. Buds able to take Gods down. Seagull coming back in with the Diva. And Milo's going to be coming in a few seconds as well. They're losing too many people, but Custer, I think he's most importantly just staying alive. That's all he really needs to do. If he doesn't drop here, they're going to have a full team wipe if they somehow do die. Yeah, that's payload is finally going to go over the line. And Nubris will close out map number one. Now, Luminosity's turn. Impressive. Luminosity, of course, didn't even get touched yesterday when we saw them. We followed them through through yep. uh, the round of, I think it was the 64, 32, and 16. We yeah, followed them yesterday. Basically every game. And they were basically untouched the entire time. So, Luminosity find themselves in a trickier position than then. They have to complete the map to draw even with Nubris. Are they doing it again? And that was impressive because Nubris... They had two minutes to on the final point there, and they were in overtime on the, in the hangar as well. So mm -hmm. very, very close to losing the game. Are they doing double Zarya, double Hanzo again? <clears throat> God's already sitting on I, Hanzo. I mean, it worked so well yesterday, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it, it worked against teams that weren't of Nubris' caliber. Uh, let's be honest. I mean, Kingdom, they, they did fairly well. A lot better than the other teams were against Luminosity, but they still couldn't handle the 2-2 two -two setup. But I don't know if they're going to go for it. They never did, but sit on Roadhog currently. We're going to get a McCree coming out for IDDQD. On the yeah, so what's funny, okay, so we talked about... We talked to IDDQD back at Take TV, and we were talking about Fan of the Hammer and such, and he says he's never been a McCree that right-clicks often. He's always been a McCree that left-clicks, because when Fan of the Hammer gets nerfed, which everyone knew was coming, it won't affect him. Right. Players like Valotaja that you see, uh, Taimu, I guess time is a little bit in between. Um, it won't it'll hurt them way more than it's going to hurt him. So he's definitely a strong McCree. It's just whether or not he's going to be allowed to, to do much when he's up against a double Hanzo of Seagull and Gods. I haven't seen a Symmetra for quite a while here on the defense side. Vonethil setting up that. Obviously going to want to get that teleport up as soon as possible. Good God. Are you twitchy or what, Vonethil? What's going on here? Have you got some sort of issue? Buds up on high, getting himself the vision. But we talked about this. They have switched off a little bit. It's not going to be quite the double Zaya. Enigma's going to run the hog, but the double Hanzo from Seagull and Gods. Very successful yesterday, paired with Milo. And uh, it was Enigma, obviously, on Zaya's yesterday. Okay, so let's, let's look at Gods, actually, here for a little bit. Because right, he's in more of a position to actually make something happen. They've pushed into the shuttle room. That's what Nubis looking like they want to hold from. They have a soldier on the high ground out of Buds. Well, these Sonic arrows are just giving them so much information. I can maybe look at Seagull where he's at because I think Gods isn't really going to be able to accomplish too much. I don't, I don't think Buds is going to actually peek him in a way that will give him a clear shot. And they're constantly being able to see where they are from these Sonic arrows. The double is just insane. Now Enigma going to be coming in potentially from the side or maybe actually pushing the payload because it's gotten to a point where they're going to have to come out of server room and contest. Well, that was one down. IDDQD getting picked off the first of the game. Seagull managing to land the shot on him. And that is, means his ulti will be ready and waiting to go. Is he going to just fire it straight into the server room? Yes, he is. That's going to force them back. Okay. Gods gets himself a double as well around the side. That's going to be the hook. That's just quickly IDDQD being taken down. The Seagull gets hooked as well. But Gods from above, as you would expect, when that payload 
It didn't slow down. It just moved around the corner. They were in the server room, and that zoning from Siegel's ult just basically gave them the option to just push it around the corner. And they're going to continue. I don't think they're going to stop really anytime soon. Guards, again, trying to get the information. Sees three people with the Sonic Arrow. And he has the Dragon Strike up to you, so he can use it towards that position to force him off the high ground if he wants. Or save it for a combo, because Milo is extremely close on having ultimate available. Easy stuff so far. They're showing him how it's done. As we saw yesterday, the vision given. Are they just going to throw that Dragon Strike on top of the shuttle bait? Got to wait for that push to come down. They can easily just flank away from it. A spring across to Enigma because he's going to be the one up close and personal. He's on towards the Lucio. Gets himself a shot on Volathil and Volathil goes down. Siegel picks himself up a quick and easy double as well. And now he has Dragon Strike back available. Well, the Mercy Custer got the resin. But unfortunately, this is the combo we were talking about. The Graviton Strike followed by the, the, the Dragon Graviton. Surge. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's the Graviton Strike. It's the combo. The Graviton Surge and the Dragon Strike. It's the just Dragon Strike. The Dragon Surge. Dragon Surge? Dragon, Dragon Surge, Surge sounds Gravi pretty good. Graviton Strike? Dragon Surge sounds pretty good. Hmm. Graviton Surge. And people always say what's, more, what's the more important part of the combo, but they're both equally important. Yes, in of my course. Opinion. It lines Ooh, up. Ooh, Custa! Seagull hits a crazy shot. The thing is, if they wipe them here and don't let them retreat, they're going to get so oh. much uh, area pushed up on that they can use the high ground behind them or up to the right currently to actually siege from. The double dangerous. aggressive Hanzo is working so, so well. Siegel manages to land another one. Kumak gets picked off there. He flanks around the side, and they're both going to have ulti available. This is scary stuff here. I mean, this is the thing. It's, like, it's all well and good. Oh, Stoop gets picked off there. That was the ricochet as well around the corner. Uh, the, obviously, the double dragon strike can push on you. You just constantly zoned away from it. The problem is that everybody's left the payload. Here we go. And he's the they're forced in the base. The thing is, IDQ has been, been keeping... Is he just going to pop in in the base? No, because the ship yeah. comes through. No, no, he, he could kill him. He could kill him in that position, but they can just back away to heal. He's going to wait maybe a little bit longer. The Graviton Surge out of Milo is not really even close at all, but they have five ultimates besides that. The Sound Barrier could be used out of Pooks any time now, and Gods is just looking to stay alive. We'll get the kill on a cool map, and that will be Buzz there to help out. IDDQD got his ulti off, but Siegel instantly shuts him down the second he gets around the side there. Bud's trying to work Siegel down, gets him at last, but is instantly resurrected by Indus. Earthshatter comes in. Is that going to be enough to pin them all on the floor? No, because Gods is giving support from the back. Dear Lord, this is just this is just so one-sided. When you have people like Gods and Siegel together hitting shots like this on Hanzo, probably one of the hardest uh, heroes to actually aim with, especially when you're... Uh, having to chase things in the sky. There's going to be a tracer on the point. There's a dragon strike to keep them in spawn. Just to keep a couple of them in spawn. So Diva's going to be coming in. Another dragon strike as well. And the thing is, they can't back them up. They can't back these Divas up once they use those double dragon strikes. Milo, though, is about to have his Graviton Surge up. Okay, I think they're going to get cleared here. Of course, Indus was picked off. Enigma's still trying to keep them off the site. But I think the Diva and Tracer cover fire has managed to keep them at bay but Milo's going to have his ulti available Seagull's at 50% expect that to build pretty quickly and uh, God switches off okay so he's going over to the Widowmaker and Seagull switches to the Reaper to just try and get the job done as you were talking about once the dragon strikes there's not a lot to follow yeah and God's he gets up here on this high ground there's really not much to deal with him actually he's only buds to deal with him because you still have Tracer for ID to Cutie and Cool Matt on D.Va that shield should be dissipating extremely fast. And he's going to even push up. Stoop's got to be in a really bad position. And Kulat's cool, finally going to be able to chase Gods out of the spot, which is actually really crucial because Widow, you don't want to let her get comfortable, especially like on a player uh, of Gods' caliber. Buds is trying his best to force them back. Trying to get the shots around the corner. That's going to be the Mercy getting picked off, and everybody chased down nicely there. IDDQD do some serious work. So still 40 minutes 30 on the clock. Plenty of time for them to close out this map. Remember, they have to get the finish to try and draw even with Nubris, who closed it out, well, with not a great deal of time, but time doesn't matter at the moment. It is all about finishing, finishing the map. They switched up their copy again. God switching over the soldier. Wants a little bit more steady DPS to attack that shield out of Stoop, though. They weren't really having problems with it before, to be fair. Garrison Search is up. Gonna be, oh no! Oh, because that was a right click. I thought that was Garton Surge getting defense matrix matrixed by Cool Matt. Uh, overreacted there, I guess, a little bit. But Luminosity lost three people and that's going to get the revive up, but he will pay the ultimate price. Okay, let's see if they can push in close enough. 
Still not finding an opportunity. That was a good charge coming out there. Forces them away from the side. And they're very much split. IDDQD, they're spreading across to him because he's belong being the pain in the backside for Milo there. Will get taken down. Pooks is going to get pursued as well. Cool Matt and IDDQD. They are a fearsome combo, it seems. They are chasing them down. And again, 3 minutes 30. The clock keeps on ticking. Unless they're starting to struggle. Siegel about to have his death blossom. Milo has Graviton Surge. So Nubris need to be careful of their positioning most importantly here. Or it could spell the end of the game. Especially Custa. He needs to not get pulled in. Oh no, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be bad. He's, he's look, yeah, he's looking for the Mercy. He's going to miss though. With a nice little bit of uh, help out of Pooks. But the death blossom's coming in and Stoops and get the charge on a Siegel. Yeah, that didn't work out for him. Graviton Surge was used as well. So that really backfired. Gods is going to get his ulti up, but he's got a... Pulse Bomb, he's okay. It's self-destruct, actually. I think that was around the side there. Should be fine. Manages to dodge out the way of it. But they have to back up. And the time keeps on ticking. Every time they try, there is something else that counters them. So now Enigma switching to Reaper. Siegel switching to Pharah. And God's staying on Soldier. So the Nazi are definitely trying different things. They're realizing what's working against them and what they need to do fix, or to fix it up. Oh, IDQD. Yeah, they going to get Milo down with the Pulse Bomb. That's their main tank now gone. And he's looking for more. He's looking for Pooks here. And you can just see how quickly Pooks melts up against him. And Gods is somehow still alive with 18 HP. He hasn't been taken down. He takes Kusta with him. IDQD. Who had the res available. Yeah, should be able to deal with IDQD. He's got the range, actually, more importantly, to deal with him. But drops down. That's going to give a slightly easier chance for IDQD to dash away. And he will manage to get himself healed up there. But God's still doing some good work from up on high, getting boosted by Indus as well. So Siegel picks himself up the kill now as the Farah starts to build up. The Barrage is ready. He's just waiting for that combo to build up. Milo, as you mentioned, has changed around, gone towards that Rhino, so more of a standard setup. The Resurrect comes through. Chris Custer managing to get them back alive, but this poor old Reinhardt of Stoop is being juggled right now by Siegel from above. Let's use a Concussion Blast 2 to save his mercy to keep Indus alive. So the defense matrix is now down. That means there's nothing to really block his barrage from coming in. And he's getting extremely close looking for this. He's going to connect onto two. It's only one going down though. Ends up taking Stoop. And looking for the last man here, Vonathil, who's going to be able to not escape as he gets dropped. And now Gods from long range could be covering the payload with that soldier. And here come the Divas again. Yeah, Enigma trying to cover them off. The Divas should be able to keep this away for now. It worked successfully, but a minute eight on the clock. They have to make sure this attack works out. What are they going to do? They've got nothing dealing with Siegel right now. He's just getting that mid-air shots off. And you can see there's a self-destruct going out. Doesn't catch anything down. Milo manages to get IDDQD swatted down as well. But Stoop has managed to take Milo down. So the Reinhardt is dropped at the moment. I'm going to spin across to Indus because you can see he's just sticking at range. No interest in going for the Resurrect on Milo. So Milo's going to be coming back from spawn. And they're going to have to set themselves up for another rest. No, he dives in and gets it. Oh, Seagull. He actually almost killed Indus there, but not peeking around the tide.